all right so now we are going to handle this particular component we will have all the required data so first what i need to do is okay uh, created this is fine hmm. what happened to the indentation yes. all right data I'll return an object we'll use three things video id null um, video again null and url null uh, by default okay and if we pass this condition this dot video id equals this dollar route <coughs> params dot id uh, just that i don't want to you know reference these bigs big u uh, variables this dot url will be now this is where uh, what we are going to do is to show the youtube video we need to embed the video right to an iframe so i'll create that url here https okay dub 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 youtube dot com slash embed and then i need to pass dollar this video id that's about it this is my iframe url to embed and just i will keep the video as a variable okay so this is done now in my template let us quickly scaffold a few things Uh, why don't why don't you know we come back after the basic markup nothing uh, very fancy so here's the markup let's quickly go over it so first thing is i want everything to be only visible if i have a video anyways i'm redirecting the user to a different route okay then what we are doing is one eight column layout where i'm showing the title the channel title the description and then this video embed code let's see um, redirect it back I click here uh, error parsing okay this is something which will come um, nothing to worry about i guess um, it's coming full screen but I can play yeah so this is basically how you know the overall app will work let's go back close this and if I click on this particular video again we see this now basically everything else is kind of uh, a little bit of theming and all those stuff but one thing for sure what happened to the column 8 call sm8 call sm push 2 that doesn't seem to work in my layout so okay this is column 8 this is fine i think i went outside that is the problem okay something happened with my tab Okay, I hit here, I go back, click on show video, and I'm here. Alright, so basic stuff already. Um, you know, if you want, you can link the thumbnails or the titles to the uh, route as well. I'll just keep it simple right now. Okay, and we have this video play video which can play and um, yeah i guess that's about it that's how you have your own um, video manager uh, where you can search using 
the YouTube API we can search for Vue.js uh, conf Amsterdam and yeah this is uh, this is old stuff I think this one should be new yeah so our basic thing is working uh, what we will now look at is maybe uh, you know mimic a few things of YouTube like um, maybe create a playlist of my own um, you know having some comments in here I don't know uh, who will come here maybe my own you know friends group where I can share some of my uh, interesting videos with them but yeah that's about uh, that's the plan you know we will so we'll improvise and add some you know cool features in that so yeah thanks for watching guys I hope you like this you know uh, a simple um, concept app where you know we explored the YouTube API and created our own um, not so very good looking uh, video manager you know any if uh, if someone can come up with a nice looking theme maybe I can you know add that but yeah that's about it